What's up, guys? I am Kyle, and we are from Face the Noise, and we are here with My Ticket Home, and they are opening for Beartooth at Lancaster. All right, so how has the tour been so far? Uh, the tour's been fucking sick, man. Like, a lot of sold-out shows, um, a lot of good venues. We're homies with all the bands on the tour, uh, so can not ask for more, man. It's been great. Uh, you guys said that you uh, came from Maine. Uh, how was the show in Maine? Last night? It was sick. We've only played in Maine like once or twice because it's like, you know, kind of out of the way for most tours. But it's always like cool when you go someplace you've never been before and shit goes off. So it was cool. Have you guys been able to hang out with Beartooth at all? Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot. I mean, we've known them before the store. They're good friends. So yeah, we've had some good times with them. Uh, do you have any stories that you could share with us? That we've, uh, like, with Beartooth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, nothing too crazy, right? No? No? Not, nothing? Not particularly, like, related to them, I don't think. Has anything on the tour happened, like, with either you guys, Beartooth, or Straight From The Path, or Former, that's anything happened? I don't know. I don't know if anything that crazy has happened in the tour. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all boring as fuck, so, you know. <laughs> um, how do you guys prepare for a show, usually? Um, you're looking at it. <laughs> Eating burritos. Good, uh, good answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just chill out, um, listen to some music, have a drink. Yeah, just try to get in the zone. Get enough sleep. Do you guys have any, like, strict rituals that maybe one of you do? Like, you have to wear the same shoes or anything like that? Um, stretch. Stretch? Yeah, stretch always, yeah. <laughs> everything, dude. I gotta stretch out my whole shit, you know? You gotta stretch everything from Marshall. All right, um, <laughs> you guys call your music puke rock. And uh, you guys kind of chose that to, like, define your music, like, very define it. But um, do you think that help rates, helps separate you guys from other, you know, bands? I mean, I kind of hope so, but we just kind of wanted our own thing. Because when we did the new record, we weren't sure what people would call it. And we don't really consider ourselves new metal, mm -hmm. which is, like, what everyone likes to say. Yeah. So we were like, fuck it, we'll come up with our own thing, so... Yeah, now it's ours, and, uh, you know, that's how it is. It's an awesome name. All right, Marshall, we got a question for you. <clears throat> is the reason you guys call your music puke, me uh, puke rock, excuse me, uh, does that have anything to do with you from puking on stage during a show? It doesn't, but it does not, but it's, it's pretty uh, ironic. Yeah. What, what was that like? like? It fucking sucked, dude, yeah. It was like 30 seconds of the song where I just had throw up in my mouth and I'm like trying to swallow it and shit. <laughs> yeah, that, that would, I wouldn't like that. Um, <laughs> you guys haven't really done too much in the past three years with new music or anything. Uh, why is that? Um, well, we bailed on our last label and we've just been writing a record. We've got a lot of songs done, like we're ready to go, but it just takes forever trying to shop it out to other labels and find people that are going to work hard for you and places that like you want to stay with them for a few years, you know what I mean? We're not trying to have another repeat situation. So, yeah, basically, you know, we're itching to get shit out there. Just takes time, man. It sucks. Uh, is there anything that you can, like, see in the near future that maybe something new? Like, not even an album, just maybe, like, a new song or anything? Uh, yeah, I think hopefully in a couple months, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's hard to say. Okay. Uh, and then uh, along with, like, new music and stuff, uh, do you guys plan on experimenting like i know like some pans are kind of doing like the whole uh like edm they kind of throw like different styles of everything in their new music do you think there's any type of experimenting you guys might do in the near future uh i mean we're definitely like writing music that's different than our last record but when it comes to like putting, <laughs> putting anything fake in there or anything like that i mean it's still guitars still drums still us for sure uh what are you guys most excited for this summer going to the beach Bikinis. What about you? Uh, another record. Another yeah. record. All right. <laughs> um, all right. We're going to get a little more creative with the questions now. If you could kill, this is, everyone's got to answer. If you could kill one celebrity, who would it be? And you can just pass the mic down. Oh, uh, okay. Um, like, no strings, no consequences. No, no, you're, like, you're not going to jail. You know, their homeboys won't come and pop these cats. Donald Trump. Good answer. Damn. All right, well. All right, I wasn't thinking, like, political. I was thinking celebrity. All right, well, I'm going to say Dakota Fanning. Dakota Fanning. 
Well, uh, Derek said Donald Trump, and I agree with that. But I guess, um, I don't know, Hillary Clinton? I don't even know, dude. All the politicians. Carrot Top. I would kill Carrot Top. <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> if uh, you, are an, uh, you are on an island with your celebrity crush, what is the first oh. thing you do? Fuck. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. Yep, same. Same. Well, there you go. Simple. <laughs> All right. This one might take you guys a little bit to think about, but the craziest dream you ever had that you can remember. Hmm. I'm assuming yours is about aliens. I, I, I mean, I don't really remember that many of my dreams. Um, I don't know. I don't have any, any good ones, I don't think. Don't this out. Come on, take some. I mean, I can make some up. Don't make some. All right. Make some. All right, then I won't. I won't. All right. Um, I don't know if it's the craziest dream I ever had, but I had a reoccurring dream for a while when I was a child of walking down my staircase and tripping over the railing and falling through the floor into an infinite black hole. And that happened a few times. So that was scary. And I was like 10. <laughs> they say that reoccurring dreams mean something. Did you ever fall then? Am I like real? Yeah, like yeah. like around there. No, all right. Uh, I think one time I had a dream that I was a uh, a toenail on a giant toe, and it was just walking around. I couldn't escape, and finally these massive toenail clippers floated out from space like an aircraft and chopped me off, and I died. I don't have any crazy dreams. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is your go-to pre-show drink? Monster. Scotch and soda. Any kind of beer. Water. Water. Prude. <laughs> um, if you if you had a theme song for your life, what would it be? Coolio, Gangsta's Paradise. No questions asked. I'm bringing sexy back, JT. You guys really like Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Uh, it's my life, Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. The office theme song. The office theme song. All right. Uh, this one, a little more serious. Uh, do you think that music should be used to promote social change in the world? It, I guess I should ask, do you think uh, music should, like, do you think artists should focus more on that? or more about making the actual just music? I think it should just be making the music. I mean, you know, there's to get the, the front man and the lyrics are only one part of it, you yeah. know, and it's, I don't know, I think it's, it's more about the art of the craft and, and making the music, not just doing it solely to have a message. Okay. Yeah. But people can do that, that's cool. But I think Marshall wanted to say something. That's, that's what we do as a band, but you can do whatever you want, man. Yeah. It's music, it's whatever. Nick, Derek, anything? Yeah, the same. I mean, I have a lot of like friends and bands that are are interested in promoting like you know important issues and stuff with their music. But to me, I feel like they kind of are. It's a good platform, but I feel like they're separate things. Like you could have a terrible song, but it is trying to do something good. But that doesn't mean I like the song. You know what I mean? So I feel like for us, it's just not really our thing. You know? I got you. All right, uh, last one, really. Uh, you guys kind of answered it already. Bernie, Trump, or Hillary? I mean, Bernie, for sure. Yeah, Bernie. 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 <laughs> All right, is there anything else that you guys want to tell your fans or anything that you want to promote? Um, we're working hard on new shit. Sorry for the wait. And uh, puke rock or die. What is that? What he said. Puke rock. Puke rock? Marshall says puke rock. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm alone, looking hard for myself to figure out When I want to ask for help, I don't know why People think that I'm worth it till it's time But I 